like and subscribe right now or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. Immortality has long fascinated us humans. Numerous people have searched for the secret of living forever for centuries, but it seems like we've been beaten to it by our animal friends, to an extent. Today we'll be looking at 10 animals that can live after death. Make sure you stay tuned for number 1 as this creature just might be immortal. There is truth to the expression running around like a headless chicken. Ask any farmer and they will tell you chickens can still run around with their heads off. And there is a very simple reason for this. And it's not because chickens are zombies. The reason is human error. A butcher's error to be more specific. You see, a chicken's central nervous system is very different from us humans. Some basic bodily functions are controlled not by the brain itself, but by certain parts of the brain stem. So what does this all mean? Well, if a butcher chops a chicken's head too high, most of the time it's just the forebrain of the chicken that comes off with the head, leaving the brain stem intact. And if the butcher also misses the jugular, not only will the chicken continue to move, it sometimes can still breathe. Of course, it will eventually starve to death, but that is one special case that a chicken that survived 18 whole months without its head. The hearts of fish, reptiles, birds, and mammals have their own pacemaker cells. They took over when the signals of their brainstem are not coming through for some reason, which ensures that their hearts still function for a while even after the brain does not. These animals can die for a very long time, but for how long? Well, 5,000 hours. And that was the case of the loggerhead sea turtle. That was five and three zeros, and they survived that long by on the oxygen that they take from the water through the skin, throat, and so on. Their body as well has amazing potential for producing energy without oxygen. Their hearts has their own fuel sack and they won't give up until their last fuel sack has been used up. Chopping these things heads off may seem like a peaceful way to avoid getting bitten, but the truth is that may not be the case. A snake's head, a vessel for its fangs, and deadly poisons still has the ability to bite you and deliver deadly venom even though it's no longer attached with the rest of the body. Snakes detect heat signatures with its head and if you are close enough to the head of the snake that's been cut off, it can still sting you and deliver deadly venoms and kill you. These heat sensitive pits are capable of detecting threats for hours even after its death which means the snake can defend itself even in death and yes this applies to it if the body is no longer attached. It has been discovered that frogs continue to move around even after they are brain dead, or more accurately, its brain's missing. This experiment was brought about when scientists discovered reports of various headless animals continuously to move about, and it's impressive on its own, but let's face it, there's only so much a creature can do without its head. But what happens when you remove the frog's brain but leave the body how it is? We can tell you that a headed but brainless frog actually behaves very similarly to a frog with its brain. They tried turning the frog upside down and it rose itself back up. Flies can survive freezing temperatures and go into some kind of animation. This amazing ability to survive freezing temperatures is not why the humble fly makes it to this list. Female flies will live for several days after they have been decapitated, and they can do and engage in reflex actions such as flying and under duress walking. Now if you chop off a female fly's head, it doesn't really change much. I'm pretty sure you've seen videos online where an octopus, after being chopped up, continues to move. Now in fact, in certain Asian countries, eating fresh octopus is a deadly delicacy. It's not really the octopus that survives after being chopped up, but rather their eight willy arms that continue to move. And it's these eight arms that are usually getting stuck in someone's throat, resulting into a very bad day. The reason why octopus's arms maintain mobility even after being chopped off is quite fascinating. It's because their central nervous system is quite unique. Most of an octopus's nerve cells, two out of three of them, in fact, can be found not in the brain where you would expect them to be, rather in its tentacles. And these arms can continue reacting to stimuli even after they are no longer connected to the main brain. In fact, they remain responsive even after the octopus has been long dead and the arm severed. Researchers in St. George's University in London conducted an extensive experiment on this phenomenon. It shouldn't come as a surprise that these tiny little bugs would make it to this list. Cockroaches aren't infamous for their tenacity and are often cited as the most likely survivors of a nuclear war. Some even claim that they can live without their heads. Well, surprise, they can live without their heads. In fact, they can go on living for weeks. To understand how these bugs can survive decapitation, first we must understand how we fragile humans couldn't. 
First of all, humans bleed, and when a man's head comes off, it bleeds a lot. Cockroaches doesn't have that problem though. They have an open circulatory system, which translates to little to no blood. So if their head's chopped off, the wound just closes naturally due to clotting. And secondly, and probably obviously, human heads hold quite a bit important part of our body, our brain. And without it, humans will not function. Eating, drinking, and breathing are all impossible without the head. Cockroaches, on the other hand, don't need their heads to breathe, as they do this process through little holes located on their bodies called spiracles. Although a headless cockroach will die of starvation eventually, it will take weeks for them to do so. This might sound like a cop out to you. No bees die, and they stay dead. However, there is a reason why they appear on this list, because even though a bee might be dead, it can still sting you. Not in the way you think of course, dead bees obviously go fly around and actively sting you. It's that their stinging parts, and more importantly, their venom delivery system will still work even if the bee is long dead. When a bee stings, the sting detaches from the body, leaving it embedded into the skin of the victim. Attached to the stinger is a tiny organ that both contains the bee venom and a tiny muscle that pumps the venom out. Due to the simple physiology of bees, these actions are not controlled by the bee's simple brain, but rather by involuntary impulses. So if you think that you're safe picking up a dead bee, think again. If you're gonna come up with a list of animals that stubbornly continues to live, you will be hard pressed not to include the salamander. This animal has been synonymous to long life and immortality. It's even been reviewed by people who believe in magic, believing that the amazing ability for it to regenerate its body parts is considered paranormal. Salamanders have the uncanny ability to regenerate any part of its body that has been chopped off. More amazingly, these regrown parts actually function the same, as or in most cases even better than the original parts. This is mainly because of special protein found in the salamanders, which facilitates the replication of cells. This protein can also be found in humans, but in smaller quantities and they help us heal from our wounds. So does this mean we can also be able to regenerate several limbs? We're not quite there yet, but, but scientists are continuously studying salamanders and how their unique abilities can benefit humans in the future. Are you familiar with the old wise tale about how earthworms reproduce? It is said that if you are to cut an earthworm in half, two earthworms would be reproduced. Now this might be true, but if you compare that theory with the flatworm, the results might be really disturbing. Flatworms are masters of regeneration. They can rebuild any part of their bodies after amputation. If one is cut in half, then the head portion grows a tail and the tail portion grows a head. Cut it into 20 places and 20 new worms are created as a perfect replica of the original. This has actually been exploited by scientists who have created a colony of 20,000 worms. And guess what? They are all from one original whose body and organs don't appear to age. Which deathless animal was your favorite? Let us know in the comment section down below.